Hello and welcome to this video abstract presentation. The paper I'm going to talk about um, is about detector tomography. And detector tomography is a novel way to characterize detectors. And uh, this paper presents the first experimental realization of detector tomography and the uh, theoretical analysis of it. Um, the first ideas were actually presented uh, about 10 years ago by Sanchez Soto, but uh, um, it is only now that the first experiments have been done. So, why use this technique and what is it? So, I'll just give a really brief introduction of the context. Um, so, tomography, as it might evoke from uh, medical tomography, tries to characterize something cutting different slices in it. And state tomography, for example, in quantum state tomography, um, what it does is uh, one sends many copies of the same quantum state and measures in different bases. And uh, in that way, one tries to reconstruct the state. So this has been already done uh, a few times. There's also a process tomography. In process tomography, we do know our state, and we do know our detectors, and we send it through a channel or a process or some operation, and uh, again, measuring in different bases, we try to reconstruct what was the operation in between, which has already also been done. Now, to do both of these operations, however, we need to know very well what our detector is doing or what the operator describing our detector are. And that is the question that uh, we are currently asking. Do we know well what our detectors are doing? And this is especially important now that detectors are becoming more complex, operating in a single photon regime or in a few uh, photons regime. And so we will try to answer this question with these tomographical techniques and look at uh, detectors. So uh, the context is that we produce some states, they go through some process, and then we measure them. And each element of an experiment is described by an operator. And in this case, we're interested in the operators that describe our detector. So, how do we do this? Well, the first insight is simply looking at the formula that describes probabilities in a quantum experiment. So we have or density operator, and then we have our positive operator value measure, or it can be a projector, and this is the operator that describes our detector with some outcome, say labeled N. And for state tomography, we will send this same state and measure in different bases, so change N, and try to reconstruct this. Now in our case, what we're going to do is send a family of these states, enough of them so that we can reconstruct this operator. And in this case, in our experiment, we have some incoming state, and we know nothing about our detector. There's just some outcome, but we don't know what it does. And this is what we want to reconstruct in a black box fashion. So in particular, the experiment was done uh, in Oxford, in the ultra-fast group, sending coherent states, or produced by a laser, and then some part of it was measured, and the attenuated coherent states were sent to this uh, unknown detector. And this detector was a, de a detector that can detect up to eight photons in photon number. So this is basically the, the, the experiment. What we use is that in the trace, there is an obvious symmetry, the cyclic property of the trace, which allows us to uh, use the same techniques or similar techniques as for state tomography. And eventually, what we're going to have is some measured probabilities. Uh, we are going to send this family of coherent states. And eventually, we are going to minimize the difference between our measured probabilities this formula 
and our unknowns that we are doing, trying to reconstruct. So, if you'd like to know more and learn how we do this, please have a look at the paper. Thank you.